Hello everyone and welcome to Training Tuesday for November 29th, 2022. We're going to start out with one of our original Royal Pythons, a moon, so that you can see the progress he's made in the time since he's been here. And then we're going to follow up with the other Royal Python we got exactly on the same day as a moon, Aminette. Aminette was just starting to shed. She already has her shed off of her face, but she seemed hungry, so I went ahead and offered her food which she didn't hesitate to take. In fact, she was quite excited about the training session and about eating this evening. Mio Are has not eaten this month. He has been hiding. I think it's likely that he was probably in an ecdesis cycle and he's probably shed somewhere where I can't see it because now he's out. He's been out the last two nights visible and I'm going to feed him and his apparent hunger would indicate he has likely shed and is now ready to eat. So while he's eating, I'll see if I can't find shed in here and I'll refresh his water and things. Yeah, so this is the behavior right there that I've discovered that she's doing when she wants to eat. I'm gonna see if I can open this without her doing anything. Hey, what are you guys doing? Don't strike at anybody. No, I don't have a mouse or anything. Let's just calm down. So when she's out exploring, that is not an indication that she wants to eat. And all the times she's been out roaming around and hasn't eaten. I guess she just wanted to roam around, but this is exactly what she's been doing right. when she wants to eat. Cool. Which now I feel like I'm teasing her and I need to feed her. Right. So maybe I'll thaw something. I mean, she went a year without eating. I guess it won't hurt her to have something extra. Right. Just to remind everyone, Betty is a 23 year old Python Regis who was relinquished to our animal sanctuary in February of 2022 after going off food with her previous owners the year before, so around November of 2021, she had only eaten live her entire life. Betty started eating for us here after about 10 months, and I did not offer her live at any time. I didn't offer her any food at all very often because our veterinarian said that she was overweight. So I offered her food a few times during that initial 10 months she was here, maybe four times during 10 months, until I finally figured out what her signal to me was when she was hungry. And now that we have communication established, she is eating quite frequently, which I'm allowing her to do, just based on the fact that she hadn't eaten in so long. I don't think it's gonna hurt her. And she is eating frozen thawed. I get people that ask me all the time if you can train an older snake, and you absolutely can. Betty was 23 years old when she started learning to target train and she's doing excellent with it. In fact, the session, since this one you're seeing, she is actually coming out of her hide and flying out of the enclosure towards the target or coming across her enclosure to the target. Fulcrum was also older when he started target training. He was five or six years old before he was introduced to target training and before he was even introduced to anything other than a rack system. And some of you will already know Fulcrum from following his story since his arrival. As you can see, he has learned target training. So there's no age limit. If you get an older snake, an adult snake, they can certainly be target trained. They can learn new things no matter how old they are. And you can also start training them at any age. I've started training snakes as young as three weeks old. Hemmer was very young when he got here. And as you can see, he's doing well with his target training. Snakes are precocial, so they are born with the cognitive abilities of an adult, and you can start training them with their first feeding. If they're eating, they can be training. 
I also get people that ask me if you can use other cues besides a target. You certainly can. Here's an example of me using a flashlight as a cue to this snake, Kenobi, that our training session is about to start. I don't use it as a cue to feed. I just use it as a cue that if he comes out, he has the opportunity to engage in a training session that might involve food or a training session that might involve shifting out in order to explore and have access to freedom. In this case, he came out in response to the light being shined and we're doing a target training session. He also just shed. So I find sometimes right after they shed, they are super excited and exuberant to eat. And I think that's because they don't eat for so long during their ecdesis cycle. Kenobi is another Python Regis. As you might have noticed, the theme for this week is all of our royal pythons. Not all of our royal pythons, but you're getting to see several of them. Like this one, Boba Fett. Boba Fett's always been engaging and outgoing ever since he arrived. And he's been a little slower to actually engage with the target, but I think it's just because he hasn't needed the target to gain comfort with us. He hasn't needed the target to exit his enclosure He's very interested in freedom and having the freedom to explore. So the target training for him hasn't been out of necessity. It's just been as a training exercise. And it certainly signals to him that he has an opportunity to earn a food reinforcer if he moves towards the target. And he readily targets in his enclosure, out of his enclosure, no matter where he's at. <laughs> 